Hello everyone. I am Nikhil Verma and I teach your corporate accounting. We are in the fourth lecture now of the first module which is valuation of goodwill. Uh, in the last class um, or in the last video rather, I had asked you guys to practice two problems, uh, two illustrations in your house. One for simple average profit method and other one was on the basis of weighted average profit method. So let us try and solve these two so that you can verify whether you got the right answers or no. So the first question that I had given for you all to practice at home uh, was based on simple average profits method. I will just read out the problem for you. The following is the profits, it should be R, the following are the profits of Darshan Company Limited for past 5 years. 2011 350000 2012 425000 2013 380000 2014 4 lakhs 2015 395000 now if you pay attention here these amounts are not in um, an ascending order or a descending order the profits have been fluctuating sometimes some years there have been more profit and in some years there have been less profits when there is such a scenario we cannot use weighted average uh, why I am telling you this? In case if they don't tell you whether to use simple average or weighted average, you should be able to decide whether to use simple average method or weighted average uh, profits method. If in if uh, they ask that you know you are supposed to find out the value of goodwill based on average profits. Okay, uh, but however in this example they have clearly in this illustration they have clearly mentioned that we are supposed to use simple simple average profits method and goodwill. Um, of the firm will be 3 years purchase of the simple average profits of the last 5 years. So we have to take these 5 years, compute average profits and then find out the value of goodwill. See I have put the formulas here. Value of goodwill is equals to average profits into number of years purchased. And the formula for average profits is total profits divided by number of years. Uh, we know the number of years, there are 5 years in total, we have profits of 5 years. We are supposed to find out the total profit. So let us find out the total profit. Profit for the first year was 3,50,000. Profit for the second year is 4,25,000. Profit for the third year 3,80,000. Profit for the fourth year 4 lakhs. And profit for the fifth year 3,95,000. So <coughs> So the total profit is 1 lakh 95,000, sorry 19 lakhs 50,000, mm, sorry about it. So the average profits is nothing but total profit divided by number of years. See the number of years is 5, count, we will see the count here, see this, number of years is 5. So the formula of average profits is total profits, see, see this, I will do it once again, total profit divided by number of years which is 5 we get 3,90,000 as our average profit. Now goodwill is 3 years purchase of average profits. So goodwill is nothing but average profit into number of years purchase which is 3 years. So the value of goodwill is 11,70,000. I hope you guys have got the same answer. Guys let us look at the next illustration now which is based on weighted average profits method. I'll just read out the problem once. Kranti Company Limited proposed to purchase the business of Shanti Company Limited. So Shanti Company Limited is the one who is selling their business. So we will have to calculate the goodwill of Shanti Company Limited. For this purpose, it is agreed to value the goodwill at 3 years purchase of the past 4 years profit. So 3 years purchase of 4 years profit. So that means we have to find the weighted average profits of 4 years and whatever answer we get we will have to multiply it by 3 years which is 3 years purchase. We will look at the profits first guys and then we will look at weights. The profits for the above 4 years are 15,000, 37,500, 45,000 and 52,500. Now if you see these are in ascending order, right? they are, they are increasing year after the other. When they are in ascending order. No, you can blindly use weighted average method until and unless the question says that you are supposed to use simple average profits method. Okay, 
let us look at the weights weights are 1 2 3 4 like i told you guys if it is given or not given you shouldn't be bothered if they ask you weighted average method you just simply have to start with the first year that is given in the problem and put 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and so forth depending on number of years profit that they have given okay so let us um, note down the profits here. The last sentence says calculate value of goodwill under weighted average profits method. So we know that we have to use weighted average profit method. So profit for first year is 15,000. Profit for second year is 37,500. Profit for third year is 45,000. Profit for fifth year, uh, sorry, fourth year is 52,500. We'll write the weights 2012 1, 13 2, 14 3, 15 4. Let us find the total of weight. Total of weight is 10. Now before we find the total of product, let us look at the formulas for valuation of goodwill. The formula for value of goodwill is weighted average profits into number of years. Okay, it's, it's similar to just a moment. Yeah. So we know the number of years purchased. Goodwill is three years purchase uh, weighted average profit we need to find out how do we find out weighted average profits formula is total product divided by total of weights we have already got the total of weights now let us find out the total of product product is nothing but profit into weight profit into weight of each year 15 into 1 is 15 37,500 into 2 is 75,000 then it is 1,35,000 and 2,10,000 so the total product is the sum of the product of all 4 years which is 4,35,000 so now let us find out the weighted average profit I am using shortcuts please don't use uh, such abbreviations in exam write it completely without abbreviations hmm? write the expanded form which is weighted average profits is equals to total product 4,35,000 divided by total of weights which is nothing but 10 the weighted average profit is 43,500 ok so using the weighted average profit we will find out value of goodwill value of goodwill is equals to weighted average profit into number of years purchased so goodwill is 3 years purchase the value of goodwill is 1,30,500 give me just a minute So weighted average profit 43,500 and goodwill is 1,30,500. So uh, this is how it is. Very simple. I hope you guys have understood how to uh, find out value of goodwill on the basis of both methods which is simple average as well as weighted average. Uh, in the next lecture guys or in the next video we are going to find out uh, how to calculate av average adjusted profits. Okay or adjusted average profits one and the same both of them because whatever profits are mentioned in the problems there might be some of the adjustments that are yet to be made in the profits like there might be some misappropriation there might be some wrong treatment uh, some revenue expenditure might have been treated as capital expenditure or vice versa you know uh, probably the stock has been overvalued or undervalued both opening stock or closing stock um, or there has been some 
uh, error on the part of the accountant where you know the amounts entered were wrong or anything of that sort whatever adjustments that are there do after making those adjustments what profit we arrive at using that profit as our base for further calculations this is what we are going to cover in the next class thank you guys